So we are going to perform another experiment of physics and our aim is to draw IV characteristic curve for a PN junction in a reverse bias. So first we have to connect the positive terminal of this circuit with the positive terminal of this voltmeter. Similarly, the negative terminal of this voltmeter to the negative terminal of this circuit. Next, we have to connect the positive terminal of this diode with the positive terminal of this milliammeter. And similarly, the negative one with the negative one. So now you can see that uh, this is tilted towards 3 volt and 10 milliampere. We have to change it and move it towards 30 volt and 100 microampere because for reverse bias we need high voltage but our uh, current will be very low and so we will shift it towards 100 microampere. Now uh, our connection has been done but the uh, circuit is not yet ready for our use. First we have to turn on the switch and then we have to turn on the switch from here too. Now you can see that the circuit is ready for our use. So what we have to do, first we have to calculate the least count of voltmeter as well as of the uh, ammeter. So for calculating the least count, we first have to see that here you can see that after 0, 5 is written. So 5 will be written in the numerator. And for denominator 1, we have to see the number of lines in between 0 to 5. And the number of lines between 0 to 5 is 10. So we will write 10 in the denominator. By this, we will calculate the least count and the least count uh, of the voltage will be 0 0.5. Similarly, for m meter, uh, we will see that after 0, 20 is written. So, 20 will be written in the numerator section. And for denominator section, we will see the number of lines. It also has uh, 10 number of lines between 0 to 20. So, we will write 10 in the, in the denominator section. And we will get our least count of m meter as 2. Now, we will have to calculate uh, the volt and, and, uh, and current from our circuit. Now further, we will make two rows. On one, we will write the voltage from this voltmeter. And on the on second one, we will write the current in m 3 r from this ammeter. So what we have to do, we will multiply our voltage with the least count of the voltmeter, that is 0 0.5. And similarly, the current we will, will be multiplied with the least count of ammeter, that is 2. So we will initially increase two divisions from this voltmeter and we will see if the pointer of this m meter is moving or not. So you can see and we have moved four division of this voltmeter. The pointer of this m meter has started moving. So initially we will um, move four division. So you can see that the pointer of this m meter is moving at a slower speed. But after the breakdown voltage, this m meter pointer will move at a faster rate. You can see it is still moving in a slow rate but after some time it will move at a faster rate. So we will write all the values from this voltmeter as well as from this ammeter in this section and after getting a series of values we will plot all these values on a graph paper. We will not uh, plot the values on a white sheet but we will prefer a graph paper for plotting the values and we will get um, in this curved shape and this voltage will be called as a breakdown voltage because after this voltage our current has started moving at a faster rate. Thank you.